What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I will be showing you new products and other things I got from my war collection. Some things I got from a friend, some things I already had that I haven't showed you yet. And some things and a couple things that my grandma gave me. So yeah, first thing I'll be showing you are some World War II pictures that my grandma gave me. So maybe starting off with this one. Nice one. It's a gate. You guys, give yourself give yourself a second to read this. I'm not very good at reading cursive when it's this small. Next one, this is the person who had who had these pictures used to. This is where I live. Next one. This is the person with this other people drinking coffee. It says here in the in the back. With it. Yeah, and behind them are some train cars, as you can see. This next one is a Russian soldier holding a Tommy gun. You can't really see much because it's black and white. And it's really small. But it's really, really cool. And last but not least, we have the balcony that Hitler made his speeches on. And right here are the German, the German woman cleaning up all the rubble because you could see Right here and right here, the place got bombed. This next thing I want to show you is a 20 millimeter um, brass shell. And this is what it looks like, as you can see here in the bottom. Kind of blurry. 1943, as it says right there I found this while I was back in my woods I was cleaning up everything and there was like a whole bunch of metal and stuff and I guess the last people who lived before us which was a really long really really long time ago I guess their grandpa that lived with them was in World War II and took one of these as a souvenir, I guess, and just threw it out in the back of the w my woods. It was still life too. We cut the top off like, very carefully because it was still alive too. As you can see, it wasn't shot, but took all the powder out and polished it a little bit. And yeah, that's what it is. I did, I have not shown this yet, as you can tell. Very new, very new uh, thing to show to you guys. But yeah. This one is an ammo box. There's brass in them. It's for your M1 grain clips. You know, I did not paint this on. It was like this. It's an original one. I got this at a surplus store like a really long time ago. I don't know what year this is from. But you got all the words right there if you want to read them. But you may want to pause the video because I am switching to the next one. This next one also has brass in it. As you can, like, you know, hear them in there. 
for your machine gun. It goes all up in here. I might open them to show you guys here in a minute. Never mind. I'm not gonna open these. These are a little bit too hard to open. Especially that one up there. You have to like rip that thing open. This one is not that bad. There's just shotgun shells in there and just other brass stuff in there. Like for like an AR or something like that. Pistol. But yeah, off to the next one. This one is a Vietnam arrow shovel from the US. Really nice find. I had this for a while. Like a really long time for a couple years now. But shovel, everything's still in it. If I can get it out with one hand. I'm not gonna unfold it. Sure. Yeah, really, really crusted and old. And yeah. Put that back and show you guys the next one. Okay, so this one, this is a helmet, obviously, you can tell. This is not a World War II or a Vietnam one. Um, this is a lot newer than the other old ones. This, I mean, I don't really, I don't really hate it. That's what I got from a friend. I actually like it. I was kind of looking for one of these because they're a lot newer and I'm trying to get a newer setup going than just World War II. But I could get a cover for it and, you know, put it on, obviously. The liner and everything. I don't know what war this was from. I'll have to search it up. There, these were used a lot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Off to the next one. This one, I have a Vietnam bucket hat. I have a couple of these. I have, well, this one and the, another one I'm gonna show you. They're, they're just the same. I like them. So I'm gonna look for one of these. But I got these two, um, the helmet, and I, one more thing I'm gonna show you. I got all that for 10 bucks. I'm surprised, but yeah. I will show you what a bucket hat looks like on me. This is what it looks like on my head. It's a little small, but yeah, on to the last item. This canteen did not come from Vietnam, but it came, I'm pretty sure it came with that helmet, like, not mean like, not the same thing as the bucket hats and everything, but like, it was used at the same time as the helmet. But, this canteen, it's kind of ripped right here. Like, the button is still attached to the, the top part. It has a nice little pouch on the side. And, yeah, the canteen, the canteen itself. Got it open. You can see. See all that, yeah. yeah. Same as a regular canteen. It's kind of like the wood or two. Like the, like the design, not the cap. See, it has the... It's just plastic and green. It's not aluminum like the other ones I have. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you.